Digital anchor Christine Varconi is looking forward to it. She joins yes. us now from the NBC4 i Streaming Center as we take a look at the stories making headlines on this Friday. Hi, Christine. Hey, good morning, Brad. Our top story online this Friday comes out of Chillicothe, where police say a man's death is not being treated as suspicious after his body was found near the Scioto River on Sunday. Now, according to a report by the Chillicothe Police Department, an officer drove to do a welfare check in the area of Riverside Street and North Bridge Street. That's where he found 53-year-old Joseph like with no pulse. Police said Thursday that they are waiting for the results of a toxicology report to come back, but they do not consider his death to be suspicious. And in addition to the more than 450 hotel rooms, it will add to the Cap City, making it the largest hotel in the entire state. The new Hilton downtown Columbus will also bring four new places to grab a drink or a bite to eat. Now, executive chef Sebastian Loraca told me yesterday that the centerpiece of the new hotel in downtown will be a two-story live fire restaurant aptly named Fire. The Argentinian chef says 90% of the items on the menu will be cooked over a fire that you'll actually be able to see not only inside the restaurant, but as you walk by outside on High Street as well. Loraca adding that the menu will not only focus on one type of cuisine, but rather the open fire cooking technique and getting products from local Ohio suppliers and farms. Be able to work with all these local suppliers. Um, for me, these are the real rock stars on the restaurant. And that's what we want to raise. Not all of the restaurants will be opening on the soft launch um, later this month or later next month, that is, in August. But they have plans to get them all open this fall. In order to do that, there are several job positions that need to be filled at the Hilton Downtown Columbus. They have a hiring event coming up this Monday and Tuesday. We have information on that and a link to apply on NBC4i.com. And finally, today kicks off a series of big name concerts at the Ohio State Fair in the coming week. Happening tonight, Foreigner will be playing at the WCOL Celeste Center. Nelly will be there tomorrow night. And then next week, you've got Scotty McCreary, Ice Cube, and Willie Nelson. They will all take the stage there as well. You have to purchase tickets for these shows in advance, and they are a little bit more expensive, but they also provide admission to the fair. To view the full concert lineup, you can go to NBC4i.com. We also have a list of the shows that are included included with the regular price of fair admission as well, Brad. That's a good lineup, Christine. Sure Thanks is. very much. Appreciate it. For mm -hmm. the latest news, weather, sports, 24-7, you make sure you visit NBC4i.com. You can also stay connected while you are on the go with our free NBC4 News app. Download it today, Apple or Google Play stores.